Hello, it's Pinkpoint. In this video, we will convert octal number into hexadecimal number. Octal is a base 8 number system using digits from 0 to 7, and each digit represents a 3-bit value. While hexadecimal is a base 16 number system using digits from 0 to 9 and letters from A to F. And each hex character represents a 4 bit value. For our conversion, let's say we have 7, 5, 2 octal and convert it to hexadecimal form. The reconversion from octal to hex or hex to octal is not possible. First, you have to convert octal to binary, then binary to hex. And if you want to convert hex to octal, you will do the same process but in opposite direction. Back to our example, convert 75 to octal into its hexadecimal form. The first thing we do is we write 75 to giving each digit enough space and convert them into a binary. Starting from the right, we have 1 corresponds to 2 raised to 0. We have 2 corresponds to 2 raised to 1 and 4 corresponds to 2 raised to 2. We only use 1, 2, and 4 because this is octal. And each octal digit represents 3-bit value. Then another 1, 2, and 4, and 1, 2, and 4. 7 is the sum of 4, 2, and 1, so these are 1s. 7 octal is equivalent to 1, 1, 1 in binary. Then we have 5. 5 is the sum of 4 and 1, so this is 1 and 1. And we don't use 2, so this is 0. 5 octal is equivalent to 1, 0, 1 in binary. Next, we have 2. And to get 2, all you need to use is 2. And this is 1. And since we don't use 4 and 1, these are zeros. Then the next thing we do is rearrange the binary numbers into group 4. Since we are solving for the hex, and hex digit represents a 4-bit value. So starting from the right, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 digits. So this is our first group. Then this is our second group. And this is our third group. We can add three zeros here, or we can leave it as it is. Then we can rewrite this number. We have 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. And convert each group of 4 into hex. Starting from the right, we have 1 corresponds to 2 raised to 0, 2 corresponds to 2 raised to 1, 4 corresponds to 2 raised to 2, and 8 corresponds to 2 raised to 3. Then 1, 2, 4, 8, and 1. Next is to multiply. So we have 1 multiplied by 1 is equal to 1. Next group, 1 multiplied by 8 is equal to 8. Plus, 1 multiplied by 4 is equal to 4 plus 1 multiplied by 2 is equal to 2 and 0 multiplied by 1 is 0 so we can ignore it so 8 plus 4 plus 2 is equal to 14 and hex 10 corresponds to a 11 corresponds to b 12 corresponds to c 13 corresponds to d 14 corresponds to E, and 15 corresponds to F. So 14 is equivalent to 
e. Next, we have 1 multiplied by 8 is equal to 8 plus 0 multiplied by 4 is nothing. 1 multiplied by 2 is equal to 2 and 0 multiplied by 1 is nothing. So we have 8 plus 2 is equal to 10 and 10 in hex is equivalent to 8. So 752 octal is equivalent to 1 EA in hex. So we have here 1 EA. So that's how we convert octal number into hexadecimal number. For our second example, let's say we have 3641 octal. And convert them into its hexadecimal form. First step is to rewrite 3641, giving each digit enough space, and convert them into a binary. Starting from the right, we have 1, 2, and 4. Another 1, 2, 4. 1, 2, and 4. 1, 2, and 4. 3 is the sum of 2 and 1. So these are 1s. And since we don't use 4, so this is 0. Next, we have 6. And 6 is the sum of 4 and 2. So these are 1s. And since we don't use 1, this is 0. Next, we have 4. And to get 4, all you need to do is use 4. So this is 1 and the rest is 0. Then we have 1. And to get 1, all you need to do is use 1. So this is 1 and the rest also is 0. So 6 octal is equivalent to 110 in binary. 4 in octal is equivalent to 100 in binary. And 1 octal is equivalent to 001 in binary. Then, we arrange binary numbers into group of 4 since we are solving for the hex, okay? So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is our first group. And another 1, 2, 3, 4. Our second group. And another 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is our last group. Then, we will rewrite the number. 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, and convert each group of 4 into hex. So starting from the right, we have 1, 2, 4, 8, another 1, 2, 4, 8, and 1, 2, 4, 8. Again, 1 corresponds to 2 raised to 0. 2 corresponds to 2 raised to 1. 4 corresponds to 2 raised to 2. And 8 corresponds to 2 raised to 3. Next is to get the sum of all the numbers associated with 1. So we have 4 plus 2 plus 1 equal to 7. Next we have 8 plus 2 equals to 10 and we only have 1 so this is 1 so we have 7 10 and 1 and 10 in hex is equivalent to a 11 is equivalent to b 12 is c 13 is d 14 is e and 15 is F. So this is equivalent to A. So 3641 octal is equivalent to 7A1 in hex. So we have here 7A1. And for our third example, let's convert 6, 7, 3, 6, 4 octal into 
its hex form. First thing is to write six seven three six four, giving each digit enough space, and convert them into a binary. Starting from the right, we have one, two, and four. Another one, two, and four for each digit. Okay. So this is our last one, two, and four. And six is the sum of four and two. So these are ones. And we don't use one, so this is zero. So six octal is equivalent to one, one, zero in binary. Next we have seven. Seven is the sum of four, two, and one. So these are all ones. So seven is equivalent to one, one, one in binary. Next, we have 3, and 3 is the sum of 2 and 1, so these are 1s, and since we don't use 4, so this is 0. And 3 in binary is equivalent to 0, 1, 1. And next, we have another 6, so this is 4 and 2, these are 1, 1, and we don't use 1, so this is 0. And we have 4, to get 4, we only use 4. So, this is 1, and we don't use 2 and 1, so these are zeros. And after that, we group the binary numbers into four since we are looking for hex. So this is one, two, three, four, our first group. Then we have another four bits for our second group. Another four, three, four, and our last group. Again, we can add another zero here or we can leave it as it is. Then we write the number. So we have 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, and 0, 1, 0, 0. And convert each group of 4 into x. Again, starting from the right, we have 1, 2, 4, 8 for each group of 4 bits. So 1, 2, 4, 8. And another 1, 2, and 4. Then add up numbers associated with 1. So we have 4 plus 2. So this is 6. And we have 8, 4, and 2. 8, Plus 4 plus 2 is equal to 14. And we have all 1. So this is 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 15. Then we have only 4. So this is 4. Then convert to its hex equivalent. 6, 14, 15, and 4. 14 is equivalent to E. So this is E. 15 is equivalent to F, so this is F. So for our final answer, 67364Octal is equivalent to 6EF4. So we have here 6EF4 hex. So that's it guys, I hope you will find this video helpful and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and tap the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video.